If you're here, it's because you've gotten a type mismatch error that looks like this. Now, don't worry, this is quite common and also easy to fix. So let's talk about the two situations that are most common and how to fix them. So I have this flow where I take a Google Sheet, I grab articles in that Google Sheet, and I want to summarize them in the AI. Now, if I take the output of the website scraper, which is a list, so these are three articles, and I pass them over to the Ask AI, which I want to summarize all of them, it's gonna go into loop mode. It's gonna assume I want to summarize each article. It's gonna take an article and summarize it. But if I want to summarize all of them at once, it might feel like I want to turn off loop mode, and that's gonna give you that error. So what's happening here is you're passing a list, three articles, into an input that expects text, that expects one input. So if you want to do this, you need to first smush, you need to combine all of the elements in the website scraper. And to do that, we're going to use the join list items. So remember, anytime you wanna take a list and output text, you have to use the join list items node. So I'm gonna pass it over here. Connect website content, these are the, the articles. And then the output, I'm gonna pass it over to context. And now if we run this, it's gonna to go to Google Sheet, get our list of articles. It's gonna grab those articles, gonna take all articles together, put them into one text output, and then summarize those articles. We can see that here on the right. I have my three articles. I have the contents of those articles here. And I then here have one big piece of text that I pass over to the AI, which summarizes them. So remember, if you're passing a list into text, you want to smush items together, you're gonna to use the join list items node. Another common type mismatch is when you're trying to input text into a node that expects a list. Here's an example. I have this Google Sheet with three blog posts I want the AI to write for me. But before I pass it to an AI, I also want to pass our tone of voice document such that the AI writes in our voice. Now this lives in a Google Doc. So this is simply text. When I try to pass that Google Doc into the combined text node, which creates the additional context the AI needs, it's throwing an error. That is because I'm passing in three items in the Google Sheet while I'm only passing in text with the Google Doc, which is one item. So what we need to do is to turn this Google Doc into a list with three items, identical items, each with the Google Docs content, the tone of voice. So I'm gonna remove this connection. I'm gonna click plus. I'm gonna duplicate that text three times. I'm gonna duplicate it as many times as needed to match the size of this Google Sheet reader, the number of topics I want to write about. So I'm gonna pass in the content as input. So that's gonna say, take this input and duplicate it to match this list size. So now if this becomes 10 topics, this will output a list that is 10 identical items of the Google Doc reader. So now that I have that, I can pass this over here and now I could run this flow. Now let's see what's going on. We're reading the Google Doc once, that's all of its text. We're reading the Google Sheet, we have three items. And then we're duplicating that Google Doc three times. So we have three items in this list, which we're then combining together. So for each blog post, we're including the blog tone and that's what we're passing over to the Ask AI so that it can go ahead and draft our blog post. So in both of these situations, what you need to do is identify what type of format do you need to create. If you are going from list to text, you need to smush, you need to join list items. And if you're going from text to list, you often need to duplicate list items to create a list that matches the size of the other input that you're trying to pass along. And with those two tips, I hope you can fix your error and go back to automating.